Well, I think I'm just going to go ahead and say what uh, I think everybody here is thinking. This is pretty cool. <laughs> when the Prime Minister of Australia addressed uh, the Congress last March, she said that as a little girl watching the men land on the moon proved to her that Americans could do anything. She grew up in Adelaide, a city that's uh, east of Perth, uh, whose residents uh, turned all their lights on to greet John Glenn the night that he flew uh, back uh, across to Australia. You know, the world looks to America because we are free, and it's to our values to which people aspire. Uh, one of those values is humility. The idea that you're part of a cause greater than yourself, that nothing in life is a do-it-yourself project. Though an often unsung virtue, humility figured prominently in the pinnacle of human achievement. Uh, to this day, John Glenn insists he was no hero, just a patriot serving his country which in those days was gripped by the notion that America and democracy itself had fallen behind. Now, these were daring missions, but they were vital missions as well. Neil Armstrong was once asked, why did you, this one man, choose to speak for all when you set your foot on the lunar surface? As it turns out, there was no script and there were no notes. When the moment came, Anil's thoughts turned to the 400,000 people who worked on the project, the designers, the testers, the engineers, the navigators, all who devised that one small step. He said, and I quote, that he knew it would be a big something for all those folks and a lot of others who weren't even involved in the project. And so it was. Buzz Aldrin, far from being caught up in uh, adrenaline, uh, paused to reflect. He took out a wafer, a thimble of wine, and observed communion on the moon, just as Columbus had done when he reached the New World. Buzz invited everyone to give thanks in his or her own way, and when Neil and Buzz planted the stars and stripes on the moon, uh, there, wasn't, there was one person who couldn't observe uh, the scene live. Uh, that's all right, I don't mind, said Michael Collins from Apollo 11's command module. His attention focused on making sure that pioneers would get home. Two years ago, Mike said this, uh, heroes abound, but don't ca count astronauts among them. We worked very hard, we did our jobs to near perfection, but that's what we've been hired to do. When Americans take on our work with humility and dedication, there truly is nothing that we can't accomplish. We can do anything if we hum humble ourselves and if we've got the right stuff. Gentlemen, heroes or not, uh, your acts were heroic. And today we add you to the many honors, with two of your many honors, with respect and gratitude, the Congressional Gold Medal.